Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony. Welcome to another edition of DNA Sports Talk. And today we're going to discuss about the New England Patriots. Initially, I was going to do the Patriots and the Jets, but I had this seven-minute really good conversation that you're about to listen to. Before we get into that, let's get to a 1,000 subscribers. I, at the beginning of every single year, it's always my goal. It's like my long-time goal to get to a 1,000. We're almost there. I feel like we can hit it. We have 16 days left in the year. Let's try to get it before the year ends. It will mean so much to me. Don't be selfish. Tell your friends. If you enjoy the content, you enjoy my BNA Sports uh, Instagram, you enjoy everything like that, make sure to tell your friends. And yeah, so <laughs> there's that. And also player comparison. So last week I did a uh, player comparison. It was Daniel Jones and it was Colt McCoy. And their stats are fairly similar. Uh, they play like a similar amount of games. And I bet you with Daniel Jones, how he performed last week, it's even closer. But yeah, so... Uh, this week, we're going to do another player comparison, and then I'll reveal it probably sometime Saturday, Sunday next week. I'll probably have to try to have it a little bit earlier, especially now since uh, my schooling is going to be over, and it's exciting. <laughs> so yeah, the players on the screen, there are two players on the screen. Let me know which one you think is better, which one, uh, who you think is who, and yeah, let's get on to my Patriots discussion. So first of all, the Patriots, what are they? They're a 6-6 six and six team now, 6-7 six and seven team. We all knew what they were going to be. They were going to be 8-8-ish, eight and eight -ish, maybe one win more, one win less. But we kind of had a feeling that Bill Belichick wasn't going to tank. We, we kind of had a suspicion that he might. Uh, I think they should lose that last game. But the Patriots are going to end up with you know, the 10th to 14th pick. That's not going to get them a great shot at a quarterback. They have a lot of assets. They've been drafting over the past couple years a bunch of players that have been decent. You know, Bill Belichick, as much as you want to say that he's not a really great drafter, he's, he's hit on a couple guys. J.C. Jackson, namely Kyle Duggar, looks like he's improving. The offensive lineman, Omenahu, they what they do well, offensive line, um, and, you know, with their secondary. Those are the two things that Bill Belichick does really well. Well, the things they struggle at, wide receiver. Right now, defensive line as far as speed. Lawrence Guy isn't really going to do it. You need physical guys, but you, I think you need physical freaks. So I think you need to start building that defensive line and building that pass rush because right now they're sixth in sacks. No, I think they're sixth. No, no, they're 23rd in sacks, but like they're like the, ranked like the sixth defensive line. It's... They're not really getting to the quarterback. You have to get that pass rusher, that elite guy. They've tried to get the Michael Bennett's of the world. You're going to have to try to get one of those elite, elite guys. So honestly, instead of a quarterback, I'd lean. If you want a Rousseau and you feel like he's good enough, you draft him. You draft him right away in that, you know, the first round. But as far as quarterback, eventually, you know, as much as you want to say a lot of teams draft quarterbacks and they do well, you start seeing, you know, a lot of the Kurt Warners of the world. In their second stops, Nick Foles. It's a little bit fluky, but if you think you have your guy, bring him in. If you think that you can have a reclamation project with Sam Darnold, I have a couple of names here, but like Sam Darnold, Bill Belichick knows Sam Darnold really well. <laughs> and uh, maybe maybe it's just that Sam Darnold's bad, but you know we see him kind of handle all rookie quarterbacks and all second-year quarterbacks. Josh Rosen, Dwayne Haskins, I would lean no. Carson Wentz, we know he's the master of buying low. <laughs> you know We saw with Cam Noon. Although Cam Noon can't throw, we've seen him able to develop game plans. I think... Right now, Bill Belichick can't go back. I think I don't think he can go back to mediocrity with a Jared Stidham. I I thought that in the beginning that maybe oh he wants to get his own quarterback and build him, build him up, and show you know Tom Brady how he can work with anybody. But I think that he's going to go after an elite guy. We all thought maybe that was Trevor Lawrence that would entice him to tank, but apparently not. He's just too good. He can't lose. Bill Belichick just can't lose. He can't find find him up to you know do that. Uh, it's the, I think it could be the gang of misfits, Gardner Minshew. The, I may make a whole video about it. The Jaguars don't respect him. Bringing Gardner Minshew, that's an option. He's limited as far as size and throwing and maybe in the Northeast, that's not a really good idea, especially you play the Bills, the Jets, windy, same thing with Foxborough, very windy. And then, you know, Northern, you know, Northern place you're, you're playing in the wind, you know, five, six times a year, at least they know domes in that division. Uh, you get Miami, and then even then, some days might be windy over there. Not really, but uh, next, Jimmy G, bring him back. I don't think that's a great idea. When was the last time you saw somebody bring somebody back, and all of a sudden, they were great again? Every single time it happens, they're just old, washed up, kind of like what happened with uh, Victor Cruz and the Giants, Hakeem Nix and the Giants. I remember we brought him back. I thought it was wide receiver. I think you guys get the same point. I've never seen it happen. It's unprecedented. Obviously, I can't rule it out. Next, you can also go in the draft, get Kyle Trask. Why not? He has a... Um, he's very raw, but the thing is he doesn't offer a lot physically and the NFL again Like I mentioned earlier, maybe Bill Belichick wants a guy that's physical like a physical freak like Cam Newton You can't once you get a guy like that you can't go back because you take start taking um, Look at all the things like once Kyle Shanahan gets himself a uh, Zach Wilson or a guy with like a lot of talent like that He's not gonna be able to go back to you know, just okay We'll get any of the real one of the mill guy and I'll try to make him succeed 
that type of thing. So Kyle Trask would be an interesting option. He's probably going to be available there. But honestly, I'd wait till like the third round to draft him um, at least and then see what you got in him. Uh, next, Mitch Trubisky. We all know he has some physical talent. Maybe, uh, and he did do well against the Patriots the couple times that he played them. You know, he scored, I think he put up 30 points against the Patriots. So uh, maybe Bill Belichick is like, yeah, Bears don't want him. Okay, I'll see what I have in him. Maybe he's the next Jared Stidham, but maybe I can really fix him and solve him with Josh McDaniels, do something like that. And then um, Ryan Fitzpatrick, I mentioned that in a different video. Drew Locke, maybe the Broncos, John O. I think John O is going to lean keeping Drew Locke, especially how he's going to perform at the end of the season. But maybe you pick him. Physical guy, uh, rein him in, make him a little bit more mature, kind of like with Cam Newton. Make him a little bit more mature, but still let him be himself. And then bring in some weapons. Honestly, what I would do at this point, you have a bunch of opt-outs coming back. You have Brandon Bolden, uh, Danny Vitale, Marquise Lee, Matt Lacoste, Marcus Cannon, Dante Hightower, and Patrick Chung. Now, some of those guys are fairly old, especially Patrick Chung. I think he's in his 30s. Um, those guys are going to be coming back. Uh, you know, fit them in so you're not going to have a horrible team. People forget they had a lot of opt-outs this year. I mean, so offensive line, Isaiah Wynn is looking really good. They do that really well. At the 10th to 14th pick, I just get an offensive playmaker. Just don't go wrong. Like, Bill Belichick, the problem is he's been picking 32. So you've had to, like, select and pick. Now you can pick a guy who's just a physical freak, especially in today's NFL and college football. These, all these guys are extremely good. And, um, yeah, I, I would just pick one of those guys to bring in a Kyle Pitts, a guy who's a mismatch on the edge. Screw Matt Lacoste. Get a Kyle Pitts. Uh, you know, a guy that wh- whoever quarterback you decide to bring in, He's going to be able to succeed on day one or maybe even day two. You know, it's just a physical guy. Second round, get a uh, ETN. Go and just nail this offensive talent. You have to hit on some of them. Bill Belichick has drafted defense. He's drafted random guys from schools over there. And then try to go after in free agency because they have a lot of cap space. I think they have 60 million cap space. Go after one of these physical freaks. Uh, one of these defensive, you know, linemen. Uh, try to get one of these, you know, edge rushers that, you know, Bill Belichick could buy low on. Solomon Thomas, maybe one of those guys. There's uh, not really that much. Honestly, there's probably more in the way of defensive line talent in, in the draft and free agency. But I think at this point, you have to go all in on offense because the NFL is offense. You can win, you know, uh, any given week with the Giants game plan like we did. But in the end, you're going to have to go big or go home. You're going to have to be Patrick Mahomes. Name a top team in the NFL. Name a 10-2 and two team that's just like, oh, yeah, they rely completely on their defense. None. Titans, no. Colts, you know, no. The Packers, no. You're like, their defense could hold up. They, they just wanted their defense to get hot at the right point. And uh, maybe you get yourself a new offensive coordinator other than Josh McDaniels. Maybe you try to bring in one of these guys and have Bill Belichick say, you know what? I'm going to trust you. You're an offensive genius. I'm going to take care of the defense. You take control of the offense because obviously he's going to eat, have to eat a humble pie. I think Bill Belichick is going to have to do that. They suck at speed and size on the D-line. And um, yeah, I think you know they have some options to make. And Joe Thune, Joe Tooney, whatever, I think they have to re-sign him. And obviously Matt Stafford would be an interesting thing, but it's just a lot of draft capital. Um, yeah, it turns out I didn't speak about Jets this year, uh, the, today. Um, but yeah, the NFL is a passing league and the, the Patriots are going to have to do that. But we'll talk more about Jets tomorrow or the next day. I'm happy because I don't have to do a lot of editing on this video. It's already seven minutes long. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.